okay so we little bit review now about the hello two we left last time yeah yeah we did you know it professional culture like you know uh having different variety of cultural people into it profession is really you know helpful do you agree yeah absolutely that's yeah. what we discuss you know because from they have their own values in cultural values they will their input would be you know useful yeah yeah and then the next is the internet penetration in daily life yeah okay so, yeah. like you know internet we can't live without internet in simple words yeah yeah do you agree yeah absolutely yeah like internet is a worldwide organization of computers network when one is at an internet one becomes a part of that group of people who use the computer for exchanging their ideas and information so literally you know uh, internet has become a kind of billard you know of our daily life yeah yeah so should i move for further yeah yeah okay um so like you know in daily life you know the business business businessmen can flourish their business very rapidly through internet right students can get academic information they require we can apply online for jobs we can share images and videos through internet we can read online news send and receive money blah blah everything is on internet if internet is down then you know any organization cannot do a single penny business isn't it yeah absolutely yeah that the internet is essential isn't it it's like having um you've got to have electric in the building you've got to have yeah uh, you've got to have heating you, you've got to have water and, and you've also got to have the internet now really yeah yeah it's like you know it has become the blood yeah that's it yeah like you know for example if there is no light there is no gas you are sitting inside a room yeah you would be okay but you know if you will not have an internet then you would be frustrated that you are not connected with the world mm You know? my um i remember my internet um i had problems with my internet and it was down for about a week okay um and i thought it was quite good actually that's good i As i quite way. i quite like enjoyed not having it to be honest you know as long as your own relatives yeah and your parents your immediate family they are in connection with you Okay. Yeah that's it yeah that's the main thing yeah yeah then you would be in the peace of mind you would be relaxed yeah yeah But that's it yeah. at any point you know even if a single parent is parent or you know sibling yeah is away from you and you really wanted you know to be in uh, you know not even you don't if for a week you you are not going to contact with them as uh, they are not going to contact with you but you can always think that they can contact you in any condition in any situation you know what i mean yeah yeah i know what you're saying yeah yeah so that's why you know uh, it it concerns well so internet penetration is in daily life so we can understand that is you know it has become a kind of blood now yeah and mm. uh, then smart devices yeah so smart devices like they have become you know a kind of uh also an addiction you say addiction or need yeah you can say yeah. do you agree yeah absolutely yeah the smart devices like a smartphone tablets and you know smart watches smart bands smart keychains you know they have that's not a fashion now but they have become like you know the a kind of need because uh if i'm busy for example if i cannot sit on the you know uh computer and i can use the only you know i uh, use the mobile and uh, you know the it's a kind of smart device yeah mm. probably i would prefer you know that uh, 
during walking or at work, I would have a smartphone, good phone. And when I am back to home, when I am on the bed, I would prefer to have a tablet. Yeah. Instead of laptop in front of me, I would see some, you know, movies and, you know, Netflix and anything else I can see easily. So they have a very big role. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, smart devices, they have, a, you know, too much demand. Social networks, yeah, they yeah. have also become the part of our life as well. Yeah. yeah. So there are lots of social networks and managing data and information from them. So data management is the development, execution and supervision of plans, policies, programs and practices that control, protect deliver and enhance the value of data and information and access. So uh, whatsoever we, you know, are in a society, for example, yeah. Mm. So there exists some social issues using the information. Yeah. Then yeah. their usage regarding the ethical and law becomes important. Yeah. 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 Then role of IT professionals in the IT is important. Then role of internet. Yeah. It is important. Then, you know, the uh, smart devices play, uh, you know, very vital role, social networks as as well as data. Yeah. Yeah. So, like IT in society is you know is uh, is has become the what i would say like addicted or you know merged or you know let's say addicted of you know the information technology and the core thing is the data on personal information yeah which is basically yeah. the usage you know the uh, their delivery their control and how that should be done that should be done, managed basically. That should be executed. That should be supervised according to certain policies, programs, and practices. Yeah. So you need to be very careful about the usage of information and data. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So whatsoever you have IT, that's basically based on the information and data and which needs to be processed well yeah right? so yeah. the next you know the uh alo is basically based on the data and you know uh usage their legal ethical and you know issues in the it yeah right? okay yeah so that is basically that's the connectivity of the alo uh yeah. that is you know uh as a conclusion that uh, if we look at the you know usage of the IT even if we have a look on the LO1 yeah then how how it changed the life and work using IT yeah, yeah. So you know well that how the history what is the history of computing and then how it has reached here and then in LO2, it has, you know, become the part of our life and, uh, you know, the, it has penetrated into our life and overall that is basically the data that we need to use the data according to, you know, the certain rules and regulations and that is your role to follow the rules. Make sense? Yeah, okay, yeah, I've got those two bits, yeah. Yeah, so now let yeah. us see that how the legal things, ethical things and regulatory issues, you know, are dealt and under, understood into the, into the IT, yeah. yeah. So okay. now let us, you know, go one by one. IT related liabilities, so information technology professional play a critical role in the operations of virtually all sectors and industries yeah so yeah. any industry any sector 
yeah which is being operated then there is a hidden role of it professionals behind them do you agree yeah absolutely yeah yeah because all their operations managements are supported by the uh, development the usage of information systems and obviously the information systems have been built by the information technology professionals isn't it yeah yeah so the holy soli and the, the overall responsibility lies at the you know disposal of it professional isn't it yeah like you know any law and order any financial situation yeah any uh, you know any any situation which is responsible uh, any for any situation in the country is resp- who is responsible yeah i mean my question is within the country for any situation who is responsible uh what 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 do you mean who's responsible i mean like the government is responsible for anything in the country yeah yeah i i understand that yeah yeah so in the similar way the companies and any sector which are you know being operated so virtually you know behind them the it professionals role played by their well or worse is is basically the role uh, you know their role runs them do you agree yeah yeah absolutely yeah i yeah. was um i was i was having this discussion with somebody at work a while ago actually yeah about the fact that um i could i basically i almost control everything because yeah. without our it yeah um it would be very difficult for us for us to operate and it make, makes you realize that as an it person how powerful you really are yeah definitely um, so yeah i i could i could um you know almost bring them to their knees and they uh which which is is quite scary really yeah that's true yeah so that's the main responsibility is they perform their work they are also held accountable for their conduct by a range of legal duties and obligations yeah because you are accountable if, if anything goes wrong well for example one could conceivably argue that the induction and the use of secret surveillance technology into computer and communications network constitute a form of service disruption for yeah example, yeah so for example you know if anything is going to be you know done without any permission yeah uh yeah. or for example if somebody is copying the customer data yeah then obviously there can be a ser- interruption into the service maybe mm. under such an interruption it could be possible that the information technology professionals involved in those activities might face liability under existing laws against computer system abuse mm. for example the example given here is for example you have a control of you know customer data yeah and yeah. Uh, you cannot copy probably you could only get the you know data of one customer for example and if you uh, really require, require the customer data of your thousand clients yeah then mm. maybe for example at some point not you for example somebody else yeah yeah I got appointed newly and he was you know a kind of you know informer for someone else okay yeah and uh, he was on the high position in the it and he required the data probably he could say that oh the system has been crashed yeah and he needs yeah. to you know shut down the system he need to needs to take the this off and you know replace with some you know something else so that's that can happen you understand yeah yeah i understand yeah. yeah it's it's quite it's quite um dangerous really i think letting somebody new into a system like um, because, you know that, yeah like like you know the it professionals can do anything yeah there yeah, can, can yeah. yeah there can exist 
a genuine situation as well when the system goes off and they really you know uh, for example your new IT technician has come join and he's the head and he is asking you that oh the system has crashed I would have to open all the servers and you know I would have to do the maintenance and you know I have would have to do the recovery you know you would really not touch him you, the managers won't touch him they only wanted the system up mm. yeah so that but and your liability is to be you know professional yeah then yeah. then it's up to you that how do you use yeah you use uh, within the law or you you do anything against the law yeah yeah as the role of information technology professionals becomes increasingly significant for a wide range of applications, the legal constraints directed toward those professionals are likely to become more highly visible and significant. Yeah. Information technology professionals should recognize that a law primarily, primarily intended to address abusive conduct undertaken by malicious uh, outsiders are also applicable to the authorized users of the networks to the extent that those users engage in unreasonable or inappropriate activities. Mm. So, the role of information technology professionals becomes increasingly significant for a wide range of applications. Legal constraints directed towards the use of professionals are likely to become more highly visible and significant. So, as compared to the any ordinary staff, yeah, they can make any mistakes, yeah, but the IT professional is, you know, very much responsible for anything mishappen. Mm. Right? Yeah. That's why, you know, the information technology professionals should recognize that law, that what is the law basically and whether that, uh, in which way that can be abused, in which way that can be used properly. That's the meaning. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So that's a four yeah. main focus that your liability becomes you know more because you are a critical person behind the operations of you know the uh, any organization as well as you become uh, you know the more responsible highly responsible for anything behind the scenario yeah and yeah. you know the law as much as possible yeah, it's, it's um, I c I'm quite interested in the law, um, and I would like to know more. So I think maybe that's something I'm I'm going to look more into. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Next is next. You know, we are going coming to a few more points. Yeah. Yeah. So legislate now. You are a key person, you need to follow the law, and law is basically in the form of legislation, right? So re legislation re relating to IT computers and their use have become persistent in today's society with new uses occurring on almost a daily basis. In general, this use is beneficial, however, is with all technology computers may be put to the wrong use in order to safeguard computer users in there are different types of legislation covering the many uses or misuse of information and communication technology. So, like you said, you are more interested in the law than some of the laws which are, you know, uh, being regulated is Computer Misuse Act 1990, Consumer Protection Act 1987, Data Protection Act, 1998. Okay. Have you heard about these? I didn't know about the middle one, but I've heard about the other two. Yeah, like computer misuse and uh, 
Uh, yeah. So, if you really wanted to go into more detail, then you can always you know, the, because these are the public documents and uh, they are available on the uh, you know government websites. Yeah. 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 So, like you said, that you are more interested into law. Yeah. Yeah, I, I quite like the idea of know, knowing more yeah. about it, and I think it's it's a topic which I think I need to know more and more about. Yeah. Um, as, as, a, as an yeah, as an IT person. Yeah, as an IT person. So what you need to do, you need to, uh, you know, get to know that which law is being you know applicable. For example, these three laws. Yeah, and. Uh, you don't need to get any degree into the law, but you need to go through these laws, maybe getting a printout of these laws. Yeah. yeah. And work with these printouts and, you know, sleep with these printouts and you would be the, you know, expert of the law. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. Yeah. Have you ever slept with the books? No, I haven't got any books on it. Um, on, on that. Ever no. in your life? What law books? And no, any books. Yeah, I've got loads of books. Like you know, it used to be the time when we used to have books, you know, in our bed, and uh, we used to sleep, and uh, you know, and we used to read some books, you know, before before we really need to, uh, you know, feel asleep. Yeah. yeah. Um, and now those books have been replaced with the iPhone tablet. Yeah, they have. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I see what you say now. Yeah, I used to read books before yeah. I went to sleep, um, yeah. but I don't anymore. I tend to look at my phone, which is not good. I know, like you know, people used to say that you know, okay, I'm not you know feeling asleep, and uh, let's try to read some books, and then you know they become a little bit boring and they feel sleep like it's yeah. And, yeah, uh, but now they say, "Oh, I'm not, you know, I'm unable to sleep. Let me see some Facebook, and uh, unless you get bored, and then you know, after looking at some, you know, posts, you then really, you know, try to sleep, isn't it?" Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay. So, impact of legislation on system development, right? So yeah. again, if you are going to develop an information system, yeah, you are supposed to follow the law. Make sense? Yeah. The laws of information, the laws of information systems are collection of observations, assertions, and generalizations, characterization, the behavior of people, hardware, software, procedures, enclosed in certain scope. So, what happens when you create a system, then you need to to deal with procedures, software, hardware, people, yeah, and uh, their usage, that how they use it. Okay. Yeah. So this way, you know, law becomes mandatory for you to know. Okay. Yeah. So okay. an information system is an amalgam of scientific and humanistic discipline, including computer science, management science, and social science. It is therefore characterized by law as well as number of principles. These spawn the range of uh, transaction processing, effective systems, user interfaces, system development. So, this means that, you know, the certain social law, social law is involved, for example. Social law is like a data protection that, you know, you should not disclose someone's data. Yeah? Yeah. And there would be some technical, you know, the computer misuse law. Yeah. yeah okay. You should not use anybody's else, you know, password or something like that. So the legislation involved in the system is, you know, socially, managerially and computing wise. This this is the meaning of this, you know, uh, slide. Do you agree that not only the computing law exists into the information system, but, you know, the social law is existing, the management laws is existing, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, because there's a lot of things around. Yeah, you shouldn't know people's yeah. passwords. You shouldn't yeah. tell people your passwords and so on. Yeah. So multi, you know, 
multi aspects are existing that's why the law has importance and relevant law needs to be considered yeah yeah so legislation should be considered not only regarding the computing but the management and social sciences uh, so, so, so man, the managing managing as well as social you know legislation should also be considered yeah yeah then dealing with the personal data obviously you know that the personal data is the private data and uh, data uh, you need to follow the law like you know the data protection act you cannot use or misuse someone's data and uh, you should only act accordingly whatsoever the instructions you have been given according to the law which is applicable into your organization yeah yeah make sense should i go ahead yeah yeah carry on yeah now ethical issues so dealing with the personal data so obviously the data privacy issues may arise in response to the information from a wide range of sources such as healthcare records that's basically the private thing criminal justice investigation and proceedings financial institutions and transactions biological traits such as genetic material residence and geographic records privacy breach location based service and geological geolocation uh, geolocation yeah geolocation yeah. web surfing be, uh, behavior or user uh, preferences using persistent cookies so earlier like when you used to uh, use uh, the website they used to steal your cookies yeah and yeah. Uh, but nowadays you know law has made their websites owners uh, you know mandatory to ask our permission to use their data yeah you get that everywhere now don't you yeah. website you know yeah. you know very well that what are the cookies yeah so the cookies you know are kind of small logs you know the behavior of your usage of the internet it it is not basically your you know credentials your important data uh, that you normally use uh, you know you submit for example using the form of a website yeah but other things what you browse is basically stored into the cookies yeah yeah so you need to be very careful about it yeah then yeah. dealing with personal data we discussed yeah that how you need to deal with them obviously you need to take care of the according to the law for example privacy and data protection act yeah so yeah. these laws govern you know everywhere in the organizations yeah yeah then ethical system design development so all businesses are complex organizational systems that are nested within larger systems such as national cultures uh, and legal and regulatory systems and composed of individuals who bring their own values and perspective to work yeah okay yeah. this interplay of personal organizational and regulatory systems creates a dynamic environment that must be actively managed by leaders to promote the company's long term success ethical failure at any level can bring catastrophe but achieving good ethics at all levels yields enormous benefits in trust efficiency and happiness mm. like you know you are going to system you are going to develop and design a system yeah if you would care about the ethics of any culture yeah then yeah. then your developed system would succeed yeah, yeah okay yeah and if you will not care of you know not not take care of any ethical you know or cultural values yeah then yeah. it lead lead towards the failure do you agree yeah definitely yeah for example
Um, I'm not sure. Um, Let me give you one example, for example. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 if I have one example, I might be able to think of okay. another. This may not be related, but for example, uh, some of the medicines, you know, they said that these medicines, you know, uh, have been uh, invented and have not been used to harm the animals. Oh, okay, yeah. Like, you know, they claim that they are safe, yeah, and uh, they are safe experimentally and they have not been used to harm the animals, for example. Like people, you know, who are vegetarian or vegan, yeah? Yeah. And uh, they normally, you know, even refuse to use the particular, you know, medicines if those have been used to test on the animals. Do you have any idea about it? Yeah, my sister is a vegan. Okay. And my mum is a vegetarian. Okay. So yeah, I know quite I know quite a bit about it. Are, are you are you a vegan? No, no, I'm not vegan. No, no. No. Um yeah, so I I I understand that. I, you know, like mean that's one thing. Like you know that if uh, you know if anything you know is if one one portion of for example of people do not like the medicine to be used as an experiment on the animal, then, you know, let's say, for example, 30% people are vegan, then, mm. you know, the the product for 30%, you know, will not be even used, uh, you know, uh, out of 100%. Yeah? Yeah, okay, yeah. In the same way, you know, if you don't take care about all ethical, you know, cultural values within the system, yeah, then, Probably, you know, the your system development would fail. Make yeah, I, yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. I'm still trying to think of another example, though. Um, Maybe, for uh, example, for example, you know, the support for the disabled people within this. Yeah. Okay. If it yeah. Is ignored, yeah. If it is yeah. ignored, then you know, obviously, it would not be good enough. But the culturally, you know, there can be different. You know, there can be some cultural, uh, you know, concerns as well. But, but you know, do mind it that culturally and, you know, ethically, you should, you know, uh, be, uh, you know, considering every aspect. Yeah? Yeah, okay, yeah. My, these are good things, to be honest. Never, you know, uh, con th thought that behind the development and usage of these, you know, uh, machines, you know, the values of social and culture makes a difference as well. Yeah, okay. I mean, the involvement, I mean, there are different values, you know, give their, you know, uh, existence of different cultures does give a value as well. Yeah, okay. So ethical system design and development, so bringing an ethical system means simultaneously considering the levels of analysis at personal, organizational, yeah, and regulatory concerns. Okay, yeah. So further, further expo exploratory, that uh, how you can encourage ethical conduct among your employees, yeah. For example, pushing is one proven tactic which considers the behavioral tendencies, tendencies of employees and how the environment and their interactions can influence decision making towards more ethical outcomes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If the terminology like, you know, if you are pushing someone, yeah, to do, you know, anything, yeah, and uh, in the system development, whatsoever is that. Personally, the environment of person needs to be considered like then the organization wise at the company level, what are the values that emerge as individual and groups interact? Leaders can maintain a focus on ethics to install a culture 
centered on doing the right things uh mm. one second yeah okay uh, right thing as a way of doing business hiring for ethics in addition to skills is one immediate way to make such an improvement the third one regulatory government if you can get the regulatory system at the highest level to reward the development of ethical cultures that the organizational level and of and if those cultures encourage ethical behavior by individuals at the lower level then you have a full alignment alignment of three levels is one of the most important features of an ethical system uh basically one second let me you will let them pick up current legal do you think that uh, ethical systems is basically the systems you know the design ethically mm basically overall you know we are concerned with the development of information system yeah yeah and you need to be ethically you need to address the ethical and regulatory issues okay yeah yeah i understand right? yeah yeah so the the way they have word used the word like ethical system design and development is basically yeah considering the personal organizational and regulatory things that's the same yeah. okay yeah. yeah like you know the wording is uh, you know little bit typical yeah and it is taking towards more you know uh, the more and more ethically ethical things and it looks like you know that we are going to develop you know a kind of you know the systems which totally dependent on the ethics and these things yeah but yeah. generally and naturally yeah yeah if you want to, yeah if you want to develop a system then think about person organization as well as government then you are done makes sense yeah okay yeah it makes sense yeah. yeah now designing companies to be more ethical pays off in three important ways yeah so like you know if you have done you know the development of a system then you need to focus on the reputation okay yeah ethical pay off you know gives them what a good reputation is more valuable do you agree Yeah 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 reputation is very important. Yeah. Research shows that companies with a good reputation have lower cost of doing business they more easily attract investors and they can change higher prices you know they can charge higher prices than those that are less reputable makes sense yeah yeah so once you have you have you have created you know a reputation that uh, maybe initially you can do the business at you know uh, at high cost but overall they they operated the low cost business mm with a, uh, companies with a good reputation have a lower cost of doing business yeah so i mean they don't need to spend more no it's yeah. that they yeah they they yeah. if you know, if you're making more money that's great yeah 
like you know the if someone has got a report don't have a good reputation then probably the business must be running on the expensive investment yeah, yeah. a huge investment but if the company is you know uh, for example has got a very good reputation then assets assets would be you know cheaper than the other you know non reliable companies yeah yeah illegal conduct can be the extremely extremely costly yeah yes uh, and if yeah. it goes wrong you know then you know uh, that would uh, damage your uh, image of the company do you agree yeah absolutely if you, if you, if you damage your yeah if you damage your your reputation it can yeah. put like, you out of business like, yeah like scandals and misconduct cause a direct financial hit to the company yeah yeah so good and ethical governance is fine is fine financially rewarding mm. yeah yeah so like you know for example if your customer service yeah is good and your governance is overall good yeah then you know financially you will be rewarded otherwise you know uh, you will be in pain yeah yeah like you know what happened my a a breakdown you know uh, uh, got a uh, auto renewal in last uh, month now in the month of may about you know 7 uh, months ago yeah? yeah they renewed it and uh, they normally sent a letter and they used to charge like uh, 14 pound and yeah. uh, my direct debit was taken you know since last 7 months 22 pounds yeah uh, that's not good not good and i was trying to contact them but it was sunday but obviously legally you know if they sent a letter and they automatically renewed and you know they increase the price i didn't agree it means by law they did wrong i can you know uh, argue with them that they have illegally taken my money do you agree mm, absolutely yeah yeah so good and ethical governance is financially rewarding otherwise you know it would be pain for them Isn't yeah it? yeah now computer threats in comp- computer society uh, in a computer security a threat is possible danger that might exploit a uh, vulnerability to breach security and therefore cause a possible harm yeah so do you remember we last time discussed the types of the threats the worm the you know the virus the trojan horse worm yeah I think in the e-com. Yes, it was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. E-com, e-com, e-commerce. E-commerce. Yeah. yeah, e-commerce. Yeah. So computer yeah. threats are, you know, the those kind of threats uh, related with. So let us see what are those. Probably, you know, the these threats can be physical damage. Yeah, because we are when we are talking about the IT and the society, then the in this in then the threats also exist. related with the computers like a physical damage natural events like a loss of essential services electrical power compromise of you know information the technical failure the compromise of functions errors in use something like that yeah so that's basically the threat yeah so yeah yeah i go quickly yeah if it is okay yeah yeah then digital crime obviously the hacking and these things involved yeah so that is a risk basically yeah cyber yeah. crime uh, there may be any that's an offense basically yeah yeah when you steal the data when you change the data when you read the data without any permission so that's basically the crime yeah yeah okay yeah privacy is most important in the it and society so it can be compromised that is one of the risk we are basically talking about the risk involved into the it yeah so privacy yeah. if the privacy is you know doesn't exist then there's a problem yeah yeah security is important information security you need to protect your systems from unauthorized access yeah yeah so you know that what is the unauthorized access for example the only the authorized persons can use the system by logging in into the system yeah so yeah any unauthorized person can enter in, enter into the system that is a risk yeah absolutely yeah 
So mm -hmm. impact of everything like e-marketing and e-banking, you know well that how e-marketing is, you know, uh, impact of e-commerce on marketing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have already done a lot of uh, things into the e-commerce. E yeah. So yeah. marketing strategy of differentiation increasingly effective. Yeah. Product life cycles are shortened. Great, greater use of digital promotion. So you know the uh, these are just the topics you know given here at the end you know randomly so impact of everything like e marketing and e banking yeah I think, yeah i don't think so that this suits you know into the risk yeah but uh, like you know the alo is concerned yeah but the the core risks are included into the computer threats digital crime privacy and security yeah okay yeah of everything you know doesn't seem to be a kind of relevant uh, indicative content isn't it yeah that's, yeah yeah, mm -hmm. yeah sometimes mm -hmm. you know they have put just the words you know a kind of silly things isn't it yeah i've noticed that on quite a few of them that they're not yeah so nobody yeah so like so that even if they have given anything, you know, they have given some indicative contents and we prepare the lecture slides so that we need to show to them that we follow the indicative content and we do deliver, you know, these topics to learners. That's why, you know, I used to include it. Yeah. Yeah, I understand that. Yes. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. The impact of e-commerce on marketing, that's obvious that uh, e-commerce plays a very important role in marketing and uh, e-commerce role in human resource management yeah so mm -hmm. obviously you know that using the uh, e-commerce the hm uh, uh, you know hr department can work well need of employees to have to a broader range of digital skills yeah yeah uh maybe you know uh, Let's say, for example, we removed impact of marketing, okay, impact on marketing of IT, okay, we, we, we replace the word, you know, e-commerce to IT. Okay, generally. Yeah, okay. Impact of IT on human resource management, you know well, yeah. Impact of IT or E, because everything is E. They are, you know, trying to uh, if you have a look, impact of e yeah yeah e means electronic yeah but i am using the word like it here yeah. yeah impact of it maybe you know e should be fine E is not a kind of a standard word, you know, is it? Mm. Yeah, it's a bit weird. That they, they yeah, that. weird, but let us see. We say that impact of E on, you know, the operations. Yeah. So operations, you know, logistics behind, you know, uh, uh, supply chain management, anything, any operations of a company, E makes, uh, you know, uh, an important role. Do you agree? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Then impact of E on finances makes sense. Yeah. Impact of online banking or maybe impact of E on online E on banking makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. 
impact of e on banking when it was it used to be banking then it was something else but now it has become you know something else like it has become m banking yeah yeah okay yeah yeah and then you know the effect of online banking continued this is continued yeah so it's all about you know the uh, e yeah so e has become uh, you know electronic banking and uh, maybe finance usage of e e means internet so we we are not going into the you know going to confuse with their wording but we are focusing on the it so that's very clear so let me yeah. quick quickly you know review we discussed the liabilities uh, yeah. it related and then you know legislation related with the it and the core it you know the uh, x or legislations maybe computer misuse data protection and there could be any other maybe related with the websites yeah yeah so system development is uh, the legislation has a core involvement in, into the system development the personal data is important and ethically the systems needs to be developed considering all ethics all cultural cultural values especially the personal organizational and regulatory concerns need to be done need to be considered yeah yeah and uh, if you really want to make a good system then then consider the good reputation of the your company and try to avoid the illegal conduct yeah and uh, try to have a good governance yeah then, yeah then there are certain risks risks involved into the it and society which is computer threat and you know the the crime cyber crime is one of them and the privacy of the customer is a main thing it could be compromised security is important and uh, overall you know the e has an effect on anything nowadays anything means the marketing is now being up you know using the e yeah electronically hr is using let in the electronically and uh, finance banking everything is using e yeah yeah e, okay. yeah e is basically yeah. the electronic the term used for the electronic commerce but not the commerce but e electronic yeah yeah okay yeah okay so uh, congratulations on completing your 90% you know the sessions yeah okay yeah yeah and yeah, we did okay, yeah. yeah and because of your attendance uh we could have you know uh, conduct uh, regular classes and uh, with a full you know uh, interest from your side my side and that's why you know we are on time and uh, you know we are no uh, not too far from the completion isn't it yeah 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 just 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 one more to do yeah so no, no, yeah. i see you on thursday 27th of you know uh december and uh, yeah. kindly you know make me a reminder on wednesday via email if you are free i would definitely create an you know the schedule but you know just to uh, you know make me a reminder so that we definitely conduct on 27th and finish by you know sunday yeah yeah i'll i'll put that in my diary now to, to yeah. remind me yeah that would be great and you continue to spend your time on assignments your next assignment is the that i need to give you feedback on the databases and uh, you know uh, as soon as the rest of the assignments you would be sending to me would be you know you, you would be given the feedback definitely yeah yeah I, i sent over the um systems analysis one okay that's fine so it has to reach to me Uh, yeah while the learner work so i would definitely give give you the feedback obviously you know it has to go through again the internal verifier that why that's why it takes some time yeah yeah that's fine yeah no, no, no that's, yeah. that's good yeah okay okay then see you bye yeah bye